Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about the fiscal multiplier concept. So the concept of fiscal multiplier shows how effective government spending can be and the fact that it is multiplied up in the economy and generates more GDP output than the initial spend. So the example we'll take is a government that's uh, spending on a new motorway or highway. They're spending, we're taking a simple example of 100 euro in this case here. And that 100 euro will generate different rounds of transactions. So it will be only one set of money, but the number of times it's used to transact will increase GDP more than the 100 euro. So we'll take the example where the government implements this policy they enact a policy whereby 100 euro can be spent on the motorway. This will be given over in the first instance, for example, to the construction workers in round one. So 100 euro goes to the construction worker here. That increases GDP in round one by 100 euro. And this is the direct expenditure of government fiscal policy here. So we know that GDP will in increase by at least 100 euro. Uh, in this example. However, we do know that this can tr create additional transactions. So the income of this construction worker, the 100 euro, may be spent on, for example, a new car, and they might spend 50% of that income, so 50 euro. So the new car is bought, the salesperson is very happy here at a sale of a new car, and that salesperson receives 50 euro in income. So a new transaction is generated as the construction worker spends half their additional income. That extra 50, that new transaction increases GDP in round two by an extra 50 euro. So we now have 100 plus the 50 euro here for the second transaction. But now we have a round three because in round three, the over exuberant salesperson jumping up in the air may have done his back in, in which case he might need to spend that extra 50 euro he got in the sale on his hospital bills. And in that case, the extra uh, that he spends, maybe 25 euro, half of his extra 50, generates an additional transaction in the healthcare system this time, but it still adds to GDP. So he spends half of his income, 25 euro, on uh, healthcare, which is an addition to GDP, which is an extra transaction in round three, which means that our GDP increases yet further in this case here. So again, it's the same money that's recirculated around in the economy, generating additional transactions, the amount of time that money is used. So in our scenario here, what has come to pass is the following. After three rounds of spending of 100 euro of fiscal stimulus, it increases GDP by the initial spend was 100 euro on the construction. Then there was the extra 50, which went to the salesperson. He did his back in, unfortunately, and he had to spend 50% uh, of that, 25 euro on healthcare costs, which means that the fiscal stimulus doesn't just create the 100 euro, it creates in this case 175 euro after three rounds of spending. How could we work out the entire amount that it may generate in the economy? Well, we can do this with a formula and we call this the fiscal multiplier formula. So we see how an extra euro or 100 euro in this case, how much potentially it could create in extra GDP. The formula is one over one minus MPC, MPC standing for marginal propensity to consume. In our case, there was a hundred euro put into the economy. We multiply this by the multiplier, one over one minus 0 0.5. The 0 0.5 is the marginal propensity to consume, how much people were spending out of extra income. This gives us a figure of 100 euro, the spend by the government, multiplied by two, the fiscal multiplier, after working out our formula, and this gives us 200 euro. So the initial spend of 100 by the government can actually generate a potential 200 euro in GDP. And this is due to the extra transactions, not the extra, extra money that's put in there. So the total increase in GDP is 200 euro. I hope you call back to Cultnomics soon. Bye for now.